Hey people, it is Sunday, April the 4th, and it is 4.25 in the afternoon, and it is around, what, 6-7 degrees Celsius in the shade? <laughs> well, my phone's telling me it's 12 degrees Celsius, but okay. that'll it's do. It's colder than that, right? <laughs> and we're here standing in front of the Ken Continuum's apartment building in the east side of downtown Toronto, and Mr. Strides is going to begin a walk down Pembroke Street to Dundas, and then along Dundas to Dundas Square, and then up along Young Street. I'm not sure which direction you're heading. North? north. Well, you did say up along up, Young Street, up that so. Is. North, up along <laughs> Young Street. <laughs> All right, well, I was just here to drop off a little Easter Sunday gift for Ken. If you want to see that, you can tune into my Johnny Stumbles channel and uh, find that video there. It'll probably go up about a day after this one, and I'll put a link to Ken's channel in the description of this one. He also does videos where he walks and talks around the city and live streams as well. That's right. All right, well, happy Easter, Mr. Continuum. All right, happy Easter, Mr. Strides. All right, Enjoy we'll, uh, <laughs> we shall. Well, I thought that was a fun way to start this video off. I recorded a video for my other channel where I made my way down from College Station to where Ken lives, just to say hi and bring him a little Easter present. There's some unpleasant screaming going on in a property on that side of the street there. So just to the south of here is Dundas Street. It's quite a nice day. It was a bit cool standing in front of Ken's apartment, but now that I'm out of the shade, it's definitely a bit warmer. And I guess it's only fair that since Ken was shown on the video that I show myself. So there we go, a little rare vlog style action on the main Strides channel. And I turned the camera around just as a streetcar goes by that we missed. Whoops. And here is Dundas Street East in the Garden District. And since you're watching this after Easter, I hope you all had a good Easter Sunday. That the Easter Bunny brought you lots of delicious chocolate treats. And here's Fillmore's Gentleman's Club and Hotel. They are currently not able to open under the current restrictions. And there are plans for a 46-story tower to go in that lot. And that, I believe, will preserve the facade of the building, but I think Fillmore's itself is a goner. Here is George Street, which is parallel to Pembroke. And I don't think that BMW knows what a stop sign is. CSCY. 704, good job, buddy. I mean, there's rolling through a stop sign and then there's just blowing right through it.
there's the look back to the east. I seem to be walking into a bit of sunlight. Maybe I'll cross over to the south side just to shake this glare. So that was Jarvis Street I just walked through. There's the 505 streetcar. And unfortunately, despite this beautiful weather, there is no outdoor dining in the city. At least not for another four weeks. And that's something I strongly disagree with. I think we all know that outdoor dining was not or never has been the problem. <laughs> was not, never has. I kind of just said the same thing twice there. And I saw a video on the Toronto subreddit this morning of an Ikea that was absolutely mobbed with people. So where the heck is the logic in that? Churches are also open for religious services today. guy might be. I'm just gonna stand on this side here. And here is Church Street in the lovely Garden District. There's a look to the north. That guy had some kind of foam or cream on his head. It's not something you see every day. So there's a 506 Carlton streetcar. On Dundas. And there's the burrito boys. I think Ken did a video where he went down here and got a meal and the Imperial Pub. They've got a really nice rooftop patio, but unfortunately that is not open. And I'm approaching the famous or infamous Dundas Square. Okay. Just gotta steer clear of people like that.
And this is Victoria Street. And just to the north of here is Ryerson University. And here's the square, and this is definitely busier than I've seen it in quite a while. This is kind of a neat sight. That's the Eaton Center across the street. Retail is open at limited capacity, but personal services aren't able to operate, unfortunately. So that means still no haircuts. Although I am planning a workaround for that. And I think you'll find a video on that topic appearing on my other Stumbles channel at some point in the next week or so. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. There's almost always preachers and buskers on that street corner over there. And this is Young Street, so now I will start marching north up Young to Bloor. Young Street is the east-west divide of downtown. Oh, and we have a scramble crossing. It's kind of a unique chance to go walk into the middle of a major intersection. There's a look south. And a whole bunch of motorcycles are going out for a ride. Signs of spring for sure. There's Edward Street. All right, I'm probably going to get flagged here for It's been a while since I've had a copyright flag for music in one of my videos. That will almost for sure be one. And I'm walking north up the east side of Young.
I'm just gonna stay on the side of the construction barrier. Stay out of these people's way. There's actually a plan that was approved between Queen and College to make for most of the day Young Street one-way traffic and to add dedicated bicycle lanes and expand the pedestrian walkway. I don't think that'll come into reality for a year or two. I think maybe 2023. And it is just a short stretch of Young. Queen is just to the south of the Eaton Center. And College is just a block north of here. But it's certainly a welcome step in the right direction in terms of making the city more pedestrian friendly and accessible and safer. Quite hilariously, the owners of the Eaton Center, Cadillac Fairview, openly complained about it. Even though it would not affect the Shooter Street access to their parking garage. And there, where it says Bed Bath & Beyond, is soon to be an Ikea. They announced that they're gonna put in an urban format store there. I never really understood how that Bed Bath & Beyond made any money anyways. It was a huge store and there was never anyone in there. There's College Park. Young Street has certainly transformed. Oh, what is this? <laughs> the guy looked over his shoulder to look at me. <laughs> There's a little impromptu photo shoot going on. As I was saying, Young has been transforming quite drastically over the last few years. Certainly a far cry from what it used to be in the 80s, from what I can remember at least. And it's undergoing what some people call a blandification of sorts. We're seeing more banks and shoppers drug marts and rec halls and chain stores, and condos. And a lot of the unique retailers have been driven out. I walked by the Zanzibar earlier. And that's an adult entertainment parlor that still exists. However, the brass rail, which will be coming up North of Wes Wellesley is apparently on its way out. So that sort of seedy reputation Young had seems to be becoming a bit of a thing of the past, for better or for worse. I'm always so focused on not trying to trip over anything. 
or get in anyone's way. That sometimes that's why my cadence when I talk slows down and gets a little awkward. There's an old tavern that was well known where that old clock tower was. That is being preserved into what else? Part of a new condo. I've talked a lot about these buildings and developments in prior videos. Here is Alexander Street. And there is Buddies and Bad Times Theater. I think they have taken things virtually throughout most of the pandemic. And I just found my rockets. Ken gave me these <laughs> when I gave him the Easter eggs. That was nice of him. Biggest difference is I personally like to see that Young Street pedestrian expansion go from the lake all the way up to Bloor, or maybe even as far as St. Clair. There's a fat chance we'll see that. Coming up is Wellesley Street, and that's where we'll find Wellesley Station. This weather is so nice, I easily could have squeezed in another video where I went for a bike ride along the lake. Let me see what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. It says Monday, high of 10. I don't know if it's focusing on that or not, but looks good to me. It'll be a little bit cooler then. There's a look to the east along Wellesley. And just to the east of here is the heart of the church Wellesley Village. And there's Wellesley Station. Towel special.
I know what that driver's thinking. If it wasn't for me, he would have been able to turn. There's where the cash man is located, all of her jewelry. This would have been such a perfect day to go sit out on a patio. Maybe I'll pick some food up on my way home and pop out to the balcony and open a beer. This place on Gloucester used to be a bar and restaurant, and this was an outdoor patio section. From another place. I think this place on the right here used to be the House of Lords, which was a large barber shop. It was always busy. Now it's just a fast food place. All right, so coming up is Charles Street. And soon after that, I'll be at Bloor Young Station, which I think will be our final destination. This place clearly set up a bit of an outdoor space, as did that place across the street there, K-Walk. I was reading that a number of places had spent thousands of dollars of upgrading their, or on upgrading their outdoor dining facilities on the promise that they'd be able to stay open. In fact, there was one place called Antler that sent the province a bill for over $400 for their unused kegs that will spoil because they won't obviously be able to use them to serve customers. And there is Berg's Bar and Grill. It used to be called Burgundy's, but it doesn't look like they survived the restrictions. And there's the never open on Sundays Chick-fil-A.
And here is Bloor and Young. I'm gonna turn around and take a look at this new building going up. And that is the home of One Bloor West, otherwise known as The One. And when all is said and done, that'll be over a thousand feet tall, making it one of just two buildings in the city of that height. The other one is going up at the south end of Young. So it'll be pretty neat to watch those two rise. They always seem to go into Blue Young Station at that other entrance. Let's go in here and then I'll cut, cut along the Line 2 platform to Line 1. Just gonna get ready to go inside here. I can also just go in through there, I suppose. down the stairs. To get in the subway, you use a Presto card. There's a westbound train to Kipling. But I'll be heading to the other end of the platform and then shooting up to the northbound platform for line one. This still will lead you up to the southbound side. It's not a shared platform like line two. So you can't access north or south from the same platform in the middle. And welcome to the always interesting Blue Young Station Line 1 platform. And rather than just say when the next train is arriving, it says every four minutes. That's helpful. Well, I hope you had a good Easter Sunday and that you enjoyed this walk starting in front of the Ken Continuum's home and down Pembroke.
along Dundas Street East to Young Street. Help stop the spread of COVID-19. Please wash and sanitize your hands frequently and avoid touching your face. And then from there, into Blue Young Station, and then I will head north up to Young and Eglinton. Monday through Thursday, subway service on a portion of Line 1 between Fitch West and Lawrence West stations will end nightly at 11 p.m. for track work and leave remediation. Shuttle buses will run. Check ttc.ca for more information. And this is the train finally pulling in. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you wish to support the channel. There are links to my Patreon in the description. I also have an Instagram account. Or you could check out channel memberships on the main Johnny Strides YouTube page. You can look for that video where I walked to Ken's home and gave him some Easter eggs on my Johnny Stumbles channel. So head over there and subscribe. And you can also check out Ken's channel as well. There will be links to everything in the description. And that's, of course, providing I actually <laughs> remember to do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Line one, towards Finch. Please stand clear of the doors. Next station is Rosedale, Rosedale Station. Please stand clear of the doors. <laughs>